Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of Dadcraft Plays That Minecraft Game. Playing some 1.13 vanilla Minecraft. Man, we've got work to do today. I think we say that like every single episode. <laughs> but it's always true, because it doesn't matter what version of Minecraft we're playing. We always have lots of work to do. Now, between the episodes, I have done a little bit of prep work. I'm cooking up some cracked stone bricks. We've got work to do. I did a little bit of mining. Got a little bit more iron. Found some more diamonds. Uh, my tools are getting sort of rough and ready, that's for sure. Uh, but I want to do a little bit of work on this walkway. Now, I've made some updates to it. I was thinking, I don't think I need it. I think, uh, maybe. Uh, I was going to make an a axe. Let's go ahead and make one. One, two, three. See, we can't get an axe going. Uh, one, two, like so. And we will go like this and like this. Yes. Okay. I really need to get an enchanting set up. We need to work on that here in the coming days. But I've done a little bit of work here. Let me go up, up top side here. Because uh, remember, our plan, our ultimate plan here, is to have the ritzy part of our fishing village up here on this kind of plateau so we're going to run some stairs up along here maybe like a big kind of staircase try to make it look somewhat fancy um and so i've but i've done some work i need to actually finish something here um if you remember we had a path that ran across here i didn't have a pick until i was all done doing this of course i don't have enough dirt that's okay we'll put what we've got in there like so we'll come back and fill that in so I've filled in all the dirt up here, and now we've sort of got this big level spot. Now, I'm not a huge fan of like the level uh, from like a building perspective. It makes it easy, but it also doesn't really give us a whole lot of like uh, interest, I think, if it's just a flat area. So we're gonna, we'll figure that out when we get to that point. For the, for the meanwhile, I think that works pretty good. But I've got this little walkway that runs along the bottom side of this pretty much done. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it was looking pretty raggedy until I went and put these posts in here. And now I think it actually looks halfway decent. Uh, as you can see, though, we've just got cobblestone. I didn't have any other building material. And I wanted to finish the wall height just so I could do what I needed to up top there. Um, so it, it sort of extends along here. And we're gonna and these uh, pillars go all the way down to the bottom, in case you were wondering. They're not just like floating in midair. And what I want to do today is we want to do some improvements to this wall if we possibly can. Now it's going to end out here somewhere uh, because I think that we don't need to go any longer than that. And we also have a step down because we've got our entrance to our mine. And I figured we would just do something along the lines of that. And maybe we'll just build a path out through here. You know, however we want to do it. It doesn't matter. Because uh, we definitely need to get over here to our, our Coke ovens that we've got, our charcoal ovens. So uh, I think we're, I think it looks halfway decent, at least as far as, you know, that initial, at least throwing stuff together type, type thing. Uh, let's move some stuff around here because it makes me a little crazy not to have it in the right spot. There we go. So what we want to do is we want to sort of work out how we're going to make this because this is going to be a focal point and if we're coming in from the ocean and we see this big wall, it can't just look like cobblestone. I mean, I guess it could, but at the same same token, we want to look we want our stuff to look halfway decent, look kind of cool. So we're going to dig out these guys, get rid of these folks here across the bottom and we're going to replace them let me grab up these guys. We're going to replace them with some stone bricks, at least for now. And then we're going to work on roughing up this entire design and making it look uh, like it's been here for a while. So I'm a big fan uh, of this whole idea between using bricks and just regular stone interspersed with some cobblestone. And I think, I'm going to go over and see if I have some of uh, some andesite. Because I like the gray of andesite as well. Uh, I have a little bit from my mining trips. Yeah, I've got some polished. I really can't go the other direction on that. I may have to end up trying to get some more andesite. But we could get some. Not a problem. But I like the way, specifically, stone bricks and stone look together. Because if we, we sort of like run... Let's just run some of this stone out. Let me see. I should have some stone in my inventory. Yes. Okay. And let's just put this in here. 
So to me, what that starts to look like is it looks like the it, this wall has been here for like ever. And we're down here next to the water, so without a doubt, it's going to be influenced by the elements. But what this looks like to me is that the bricks have sort of worn down, and they're kind of smooth. And then we have little areas of where we've got cobblestone. Now, we've got to be a little careful with how much cobblestone we actually put in here. Because if we put too much, then I think it gets kind of like patchworky, and we don't want that too much. I'm going to put this... And we'll put a piece of stone in there. So now we're starting to get this idea of we've got some areas of the wall that are cracked and damaged. Let me go over here. We have to sleep through the night anyway in just a second. Let me grab this cracked stone brick that we've got. And we want to sort of, I don't know, lay in all these different sort of textures all by using just a flat block. Can I sleep? Yeah. And make this wall look like something halfway decent. Now, not only do we want to do that, but we also... Let me see. Do I have any glass? I have a little bit of red. I'm down with using red. And I should have somewhere some glowstone. Yeah, yeah, that works. And then I want to use regular trap doors. I don't want to use... Let's get some of these. And let's get some of these guys... 32, 36 should work. And we'll go like that, and we'll use all these guys and make some trap doors. Okay. So not only do I want to sort of break up the, the texture that is on this wall. So for instance, if we go in here and we throw one of these cracked stone bricks in here, it just gives us one more kind of like transition texture. I love that. And then we can also randomly throughout this area put in some andesite to give us one more kind of thing, right? Because walls that are sitting here for a long time, yeah, see, that looks pretty good. It looks almost like, you know, even though it's a flat block, the texture of these stone bricks makes it look like it's kind of almost like carved out. I love that. That makes me happy. Oh, for sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four. So if we go sort of in the middle here, and we're going to ruin some of that stone, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And we grab out some of these, and let's say we put in... Oh, man, I keep running back and forth. Let me get some stone brick stairs. Because we're also going to need some sort of lighting along the edge of this wall to make it look awesome. Uh, we could grab that, maybe. Sure, why not? And if we come along here, and let's get our stone bricks down here where we can work with them. We put a stone brick like this, and, or a stair like that, right? And then we can put a piece of glowstone in there to give us a little bit of light. And then maybe we can cover it with an oak trap door. Like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm down with that. So we're definitely gonna need some, some way to light. And, you know, I just want it to be sort of a, oh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like a casual lighting. And I think we can make this thing look as old and as broke down as we want to. And I think it's still going to look okay. Where's my stone? Put that guy right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's good. And then we can do sort of the same thing here. We can put in... A, maybe we'll use one of those. Let's get these. We'll put one of these down here and maybe one of these like that. Get rid of this extra one. And then we'll dig this out, put this in there, and then we'll put this over top like that. Yeah, so now we've got a little bit of definition going on around this wall. And we have tons of other options. We don't just have to use full bricks. We can use... Um, some stair, or what are these things called? Uh, not stairs. Uh, fences. Oh, actually, I have a bunch of fences. Let's leave this stuff together. And let's just see what else we can we can do to make this thing look even... We're, look, we're trying to get this idea of it being sound, kind of ragged looking, for sure. May we throw in a couple of these every once in a while? Yeah, break it up a little bit more. Maybe like right here in the middle, just kind of hanging out. Like that. Yeah, now we're getting something. And maybe we could come in here randomly. So we're going to have to make sure that the, the behind this thing... Let's go like that. And we'll put... Uh, 
one of these in there. Yeah, now we're starting to get a little something. You know, and I think that's the key to building in Minecraft. You know, at least how I do it. I'm not one of those guys that has like this 100% plan all the time and says this is exactly how this thing that we're making is going to look. Uh, we just want to try to make it look, I don't know, like it's, it is something. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then these guys can go in there like that. Now let's take a look and see what we've got. So we've got a little bit of a light source happening there. I think that looks pretty good. And then we've got these sort of broken, like, wall segments where... I mean, who knows what they could be used for or what they were used for. And uh, we want to make sure that we're being pretty liberal with those broken sections. We also have to make sure that we always cover back behind up. So we want to go like that. Yeah, boy. Okay, so that's like sort of a flat spot. And now we've got these other, we've got edges that we have to deal with, right? So maybe instead of using, uh, instead of using... Put some anthracite in there. Why not? We go like that. Yeah, that sort of looks awesome. Uh, we're just trying to break up all the and, and use as many different texture types as we can. By the way, I have trouble saying that word. Texture, texture, texture. However you say it. Um, there's a couple reasons why I have trouble saying that kind of stuff, but whatever it is, what it is. So we're just going to dig out here and there along the way here. And we can use different blocks to put behind here. It doesn't have to be the same kind, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I think this starts to look halfway decent. We want to make sure that this is not all the same across the bottom. It can be um, here and there, but we want to make sure that we use different blocks as well across the bottom of this thing. Like this, to me, looks now like it's too... And we could even maybe go like that once in a while. Yeah, make like a little, like one of the bricks has fallen out. Oh, I love that. I love that. So what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time and try to work out some detail. Uh, I think we also need to get some sort of either fencing along the edge of this. I mean, I'm sort of okay with it being open. But I think maybe some fences at least sort of interspersed in between. You know how... I don't know. What, what, what do you call it? Like, you have like department works or whatever. So you have streets and roads and bridges and things like that that get built uh, by, you know, whoever, uh, builders or the state, if you're, or the government or whatever might be building these. And every so often, let's go over here and let's do one more thing together before we take a little bit of a break off camera and let me do some updates. I need something. I had to get some more food. I was in bad shape. Let's see. So we get some maybe spruce fences. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Because we don't want this thing to be too like perfect looking. But anyway, you know how like you have like maybe in your town or whatever, there's areas where you've got like these public access kind of things. And they're, they may be sort of run down or they're in disrepair, whatever that might be. And I'm thinking the same thing. So we've got all these posts. They're over here by the water. So obviously they're taking a lot of damage. Not really damage, but they're, they're getting a lot of... There's a lot of impact from the water itself. So maybe some of these posts have rotted and fallen off. We can even look at doing some things like... Let me get a couple of these... Uh, here, let me just make a crafting bench. Why not? We'll just add to our never-ending flow of craft crafting benches. One, two, three. Get these guys like this, and we go like that and make some of these. And then maybe every once in a while, we have a couple planks that are even discolored or looking a little bit different. Just to give us a little something else that breaks up this never-ending sort of flow of just spruce. And break this guy out. So it gives us a little something. The other thing that I was thinking about doing along somewhere, at least in random places, and I'm afraid, I don't want it to look like it's, I don't know, too, too messed up. Let me just grab a little couple pieces of sand here real quick. 
and we'll stick those in maybe every once in a while the sand is actually sort of encroached a little bit you know maybe it's S uh, silt or whatever that is that uh, maybe they have a big rain and some of the dirt and stuff comes over the top of the wall I mean who knows right there's all kinds of different ways that we can kind of doctor up this wall and this little pier a uh, little walkway to make it look like it's part of this world I, I don't know um, I've talked to you guys a lot about how when I build in vanilla Minecraft I like to have this idea of like a backstory and when I'm building something, I want to think, now why why does it look the way it looks? So you have to configure, or at least in my mind, you have to focus on what's the environment like. So is it very wet? Is it dry? Is it humid? So in our case, we're right by the ocean. That means salt and salt water is a constant thing. And you know how salt and salt water can destroy uh, stone. It can break stone up. It can cause things to fall apart it can sort of cut into the longevity of some of these items yeah okay so i'm gonna do some work on this wall and see if i can't get it worked out we're gonna put in some of these glowstone lamps these little light fixtures that we've we've built and i'm just gonna work this thing out maybe we'll get the whole thing done today maybe not depends on how much time i spend talking about stuff instead of actually working on it and then we'll come back here in a little bit. We'll take a look at it, and then we're going to start on something else today. So let me get working on this, and I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Man, I think that looks pretty good. I waited till nighttime to start recording again, because I wanted to come out here and kind of get a view of this wall from the distance. This is what we would see, or this is what the sailors would see, or the fishermen would see as they're coming back into... The fishing village. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. That's for sure. Um, it's broken up a good bit. I like the, the different textures that we've got there. I think it looks pretty awesome so far. Um, the problem is, and I, I didn't extend it out. I mean, I went down to about that far. And I've got some random lights in there. We've got some of the, the, the stone fences, stone walls. Those are looking pretty good. Um, so now I want to start working on around the top. Because there's a couple things. Well, actually, let me show you real quick what I was thinking of so first of all I have a couple stone fences around the top of the, there's a zombie up there but we want to break the top of this wall up as well you know it's, it's I guess ultimately it's a retaining wall is really what it is so we need to think about am I gonna be able to sleep yes okay hopefully that skeleton doesn't come down here and cause us some problems Thank you. I will take all these goodies. Um, so it's ultimately this wall. Not only is it sort of a focal point as you come into the area, but it's also oh, missed him. Uh, it's also ultimately a retaining wall. And the thing about retaining walls, if you don't know, <laughs> I'm sure you've at least seen them before, is oh. I care about the experience is retaining walls have a uh, a way of sort of getting eroded across the top so we don't want this thing to be too perfect up here so I've got some some different stairs options we can start putting in here and I think it's okay if a little bit of the dirt shows through across the top I was sort of kicking around the idea of not letting it show out but I think it's okay that it does and this could just be a stone brick that's kind of so now we've got the top of this wall broken up as well but the other thing I want to do is come along and put in some random fences just like you know we've got along the walkway there we want to have some random fences and maybe we can even go like this every once in a while sure why not I mean, it's our, our world. We can make it look however we want to. That's the thing you got to remember. Uh, don't let anyone ever tell you how you should or should not make something look. I mean, they can give you suggestions like, hey, this might look better or whatever that might be. Do I have some dirt now? I do. Let's put this and this in there. Fill that in. Um, but make it look however you want to. Uh, make the story happen in your own mind. Yeah, boy. Okay, so now the other thing, not only is this going to be obviously a retaining wall and it's like the edge wall for our little pier, I was thinking that we're going to have to have some sort of path 
that runs along the top of this because this should not only is it you know like a structural thing but it would also be a good place for people to come and and sort of walk along this and look out into the ocean maybe they're waiting for the boats to come in or um, it's just a, a nice place to kind of hang out and look and I think we're gonna break this path up we don't want it to be consistent across here we want to have a little bit of space on the sort of this side because we're gonna put in some places where people can kind of stop and you know maybe they can hang out they can have their lunch whatever that might be you know businessmen I mean just because it's a it's a fishing village doesn't mean there's people who especially up here right the the fancy people that live up here on top of the hill maybe they're gonna be like oh I'm gonna come over here and sit by the water and you know and eat my lunch so I was thinking what we'll do is put some benches in so here's how I'm gonna build some benches we sort of have to figure out how we're gonna place these uh -huh. Maybe we can go and do something like like this. Put this guy here. Nope, just one. Now we need our axe. Okay. And I'm, I'm using dark oak because I want to have a dark, something dark in here. And maybe we can put another guy here. Nope, not like that. I'm going to have to put a helper block behind this guy for a second. There we go. And then we can put him like that. Okay. Get rid of this guy and then I also have some dark oak slabs that I can put in here and now we've got like a little sitting area that people can kind of sit sit at yeah I want to have a couple of these benches along the way here so maybe we'll put another one here get our helper block going right over here and we can go like so and like that okay now we don't want all these benches to be too perfect so for example maybe over here we have a bench and we can do it in the same format we can go like that and oh, you get away but this one this one is caved in in the middle like the the bench is kind of falling apart and maybe this one is really messed up so we'll actually take this guy and we'll turn this stair the other way so this was used to be a bench but now it's kind of falling apart a little bit does that make sense oh man I think it makes sense to me that's for sure we gotta eat something we can't even hardly move okay and then maybe like up here all that's left of this bench is just some pieces parts that's all that's there uh, now over here maybe we actually will have a, a good looking bench and we can go like this and we can make like a proper bench because this one is still in good shape okay perfect let's get rid of the helper blocks that we have in place okay so now we've got some benches and now the other thing that I want to do I need to find some shears because the you know if this place is at all going to be in any sort of disrepair and it's hard I mean I don't know about you but I have a yard at my house <laughs> that I'm responsible for and every once in a while you know it gets it gets kind of hard to keep it keep it together so you know you have to figure some stuff out so let's go and get let's see look at tools yeah there's a pair of shears awesome okay Oh, and the other, here, let's actually get rid of some of our blocks so we have a little bit more room. Put some of these away. Uh, we can come back and get these later. I'm going to put stone up here as well. Stone bricks can go in there. All of that stuff. Okay, now let's go into our little our deal here. We want to get some oak saplings, I think. Some oak saplings. We want to get some random flowers. Yeah. Okay, there's some azure bluets. Those are cool. We even have some dandelions. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, let's go in here and get a little bit of this coarse dirt. And maybe we even grab out that mushroom. Why not? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And let's go and then take our shears and we're going to trim some of this grass back. So now we can go up along the way here 
and we can put in like say maybe right beside this guy where's our coarse dirt right there maybe like right here beside this guy we have a oh we can't do that oh i thought i could plant a mushroom there that's okay we'll put some grass put a little bit of grass so now it looks like it's sort of overgrown a little bit yeah maybe some grass along the top here every once in a while we'll do i will come back and get some bone meal and do some too high grass and then maybe on this side of the path as well so we want to get some of this stuff maybe we have some flowers that every once in a while are sort of grown in here interspersed along the top of this wall let's get the different kinds oxide daisy nope uh, oxide daisy can go there uh, maybe one of these guys can go right there yeah so now all of a sudden it starts to look interesting right it's not just like a random collection of stuff now it starts to look halfway decent let's put some of this in here oh we got to get this helper block out of the way you come out of there guy all right and there might be a couple areas where we even have spots where the grass has been sort of worn down maybe we'll stick a flower in the middle of that why not and then we can take some more grass and kind of spread it out Maybe in here. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get a little something, I think. I think it's look, starting to look halfway decent. How about a uh, some dandelions? Put a couple of those in around different places. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's make our path. Our shovel's about to break, by the way. Okay, and some more grass. Maybe a flower or two. Okay, we need some, another oxide daisy just to give us a little bit of white going on. Yeah, and maybe some of these. Nope, that's too many. Too many flowers in one spot. Okay, and maybe a white flower there. Okay, now let's go grab a little bit of bone meal. And we'll bone meal some of these uh, grass to make them too high. Which I think is going to look pretty cool. Yeah, see now you can see the top. Oh, that looks good. I'm down with that for sure. Okay, uh, bone meal. Let's just get... One, two, just a couple. We don't need like tons and tons. Okay. Seems like, wow, I mean, we've been recording. This clip has been going on for a little bit. And then we just not, we don't want to go too crazy with this too high grass. But every once in a while, we want to have some too high grass that shows up just here and there. Maybe one on this side. Maybe one over here so it kind of sticks over the edge of the wall. Maybe another one back here. Okay. And now we've got random pieces of too high grass. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to put some trees in, in random places. So maybe we can get a tree growing right there. We can get a tree growing right here along the path. So we have to kind of walk under it. Maybe there's one on this side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe one over here. Okay, and then maybe one more. Ah, let's keep that. Let's keep a. Let's not have a tree there. All right, let's go sleep through the night. We're gonna grab some more bone meal, and we're gonna try to make those trees grow and make sure they're the right kind. We want them to be. Let's sleep through the night real quick. Okay, let's go down in here. Grab some bone meal. I gotta kill more skeletons that's for sure we'll just make a bunch so because it might take a little bit to get these trees to actually grow okay let's see if we can actually make this guy grow I don't know if he will oh, he won't grow because of that I think okay now he will and now we can put grass back in and we can bone meal it now right make the grass go too high 
So we've got this tree sitting right there. That means our path is going to have to sort of... Want our shovel just broke. Okay, that looks good. I'm down with that. Now we could build custom trees if we wanted to. Yeah, maybe... Maybe that's what we want to do. I just thought about that. Maybe we want to get these leaves off here. We'll make some little custom... So not a tree, per se. Maybe like a bush. And we'll, we'll custom build them. Okay, let's get our shovel. No, this. Not our shovel, axe. Let's get our axe. Let's grab up the rest of these. Okay, grab that. I have a crafting bench down here. Pardon the fall damage. Okay, so let's take some spruce. And we'll make some sticks. Is this the right way? I don't know. I never know. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we have some of these and we have leaves. Okay. So let's go up here and we'll make some custom little bushes that sort of run around the top of this thing. Like maybe there's one like right here. We can go too high and we can go like on top. bring this up another block okay we want it to look sort of random so we want to get rid of this and maybe we can have one out here that used to be like people would sit under Those aren't the best leaves because they're kind of clear. Jungle leaves would be the best, I think. Maybe this guy is just like a little tiny bush. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you come out of there, guy. And maybe we have another one of these little tiny guys. Okay. And then maybe we don't even have... We don't even have... We just have some leaf blocks that kind of run in through here. We're trying to make it look as like sort of overgrown as possible. And we want to sort of give something to make the top of this wall look halfway decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Let's go take a look. Let's um, look at it from the bottom here and see what it looks like. Let's get in the boat actually and go out in the ocean and see what this guy looks like from there. So we want to, we're trying to break up the top of this wall. Oh yeah, that looks so much better, I think. Let's get out here a little bit further so we can kind of turn around and take a look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That looks awesome. And this will even look better once we get some buildings in back in here. But look, you can see like the tall grass, you can see these random trees. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Let's um let's go up. Let's actually let's stand and look at it from the the dock here oh yeah I'm down with that yep I'm happy so we still have to do some more work we have to finish out the wall but we're not going to be able to get that done in today's episode because I want to get this taken care of and uploaded for you guys and then across the top here we sort of have this path we need to get a shovel going so we can do some stuff we also maybe want to think about hiding some lighting I mean, we might be able to do something as simple as just put this in the ground like that and then put one of these trap doors on top of it like that. Just to give us a little bit of something, some sort of lighting that uh, runs up in here. Like maybe this guy, this lighting we can hide underneath this bench. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And maybe we'll go like this and put this guy there and then get our trapdoor. Okay. Yeah. 
I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys do too as well. Do as well. Let's go over here and find a spot where we can stand and kind of look down the wall. That's maybe not the greatest spot, but this will work. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much for sort of coming along with me on this journey as we build this little fishing village. Man, I think that looks pretty good. I think we did some good work today. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you can even guess. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my 1.13 vanilla Let's Play Survival Minecraft series, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.